Hello everyone. In this session, we'll be discussing about what a balance sheet is. So now let's get started. First of all, what is a balance sheet? Putting it in the simpler words, we can say that a balance sheet is a financial statement showcasing the financial position of a company on a particular date. This is how you can say what a balance sheet is in a simpler words. In this, we have to keep three points in our mind. The first thing is that it is a financial statement. What does a financial statement mean? A financial statement means that it showcases how much assets and liabilities does the company hold. Assets in the sense that how much um, possession we do have and the liabilities are those things which a company have to repay. So, financial statement means that how much of the assets a company owns and it also showcases that how much of the liabilities it have to pay to the other people. Then the second thing is that financial position of a company. Financial position of a company means that sometimes the assets might be higher else the liabilities will be higher. Depending upon that we can say that the company is in profit or loss. That's how we understand or learn what the financial position of a company is and the third point is that it is prepared on a particular date the date for preparation of balance sheet is also necessary and important so these are the three points that we have to keep in mind while preparing a balance sheet or understanding a balance sheet the first is that it is a financial statement of assets and liabilities second is that it shows the financial position of the company and third is that it is prepared on a particular date. So defining balance sheet properly, we can say that balance sheet is a state statement of assets and liabilities which help us to ascertain the financial position of a concern on a particular date. This is how we can define a balance sheet in proper terms. Then what we can further understand about a balance sheet is that it is a historical report. Historical report in the sense that it is prepared on the basis of a past activities. The thing is that if the balance sheet is prepared for example on the date of 31st March 2020. If it is prepared on 31st March uh, 2020 then the activities that have been taken place from 1st of April 2019 to 31st March of 2020 will be mentioned in the balance sheet. The thing is that that one accounting year's financial activity will be mentioned in the balance sheet. Then we can say that balance sheet is often described as a detailed expression in the sense that it is a detailed expression of what or how much assets we have, how much liabilities we have and what is the capital or the investment which we have put up while starting of the business. So when we are putting it in the terms of mathematical expression we can say that a balance sheet is or showcases or the accounting equation for the balance sheet is asset is equal to liability plus owner's equity. Owner's equity means the capital. This is what a balance sheet is. Now taking just a glance how a balance sheet is prepared. This is how a balance sheet looks like. On your left hand side you will have liabilities liabilities means those things which we have to pay to others and on your right hand side you will have your assets assets means which you own or which you have to receive from others or the investment which we get all these are the assets so this is how generally a balance sheet will look like the preparation of balance sheet you will learn in your coming sessions Now coming to what assets are. As I mentioned above, assets represent all those business 
activities or the things which a business owns the thing is that what a business firm possess that is what assets are this include rights of properties or uh, whatever it is might be cash investment then bills receivable bills receivable in the sense that the bills which we have to receive then debtors debtors are those people who, who are liable to pay to us the thing is that if we have given credit to someone else and they have to pay to us they are known as the debtors these debtors are also assets then stock of raw materials all this will come under assets apart from this we do have this goodwill patent copyrights all these are also considered as assets now coming to liabilities liabilities refers to those terms or financial obligations which we have to pay to others for example loans which were taken from the banks or loans which we were taken which we had taken from other person these all we have to pay back to those people this is considered as a liability now before preparing your balance sheet you have to be familiar with some of the basic accounting terms the first is that debtor who is a debtor as i have said to you a debtor is a person who receives a benefit without giving money or money worth immediately but liable to pay in future course of time as a debtor which means that for example let's take an example if you have given money to some other person and that person or the thing is that let's take an exa- another example say if you had given or uh, given something which he did not pay the money at that time this is considered or this person is considered as a debtor you can see the example here here mr arul bought goods on credit from mr babu for rupees 10000 and mr arul is a debtor to mr babu till he pays the value of the goods the thing is that till mr arul pays back the money to mr babu he is considered as a debtor and the debtor is shown in the asset side of the balance sheet so to put it in short for example the thing is that if you had given money to someone else till the man till the time he pay back the money he is considered as a debtor so the person who receives the benefits you are giving some benefit to other person so that person is considered as a debtor and the example you can go through now moving on to the other terms the next is the creditor creditor is just the opposite of a debtor the thing is that if a person had given you the benefit the thing is that if you had bought something on credit or if you had bought something without paying the money but you have promised that you will pay back the money in future that's what a creditor is or credit is about for example you must be familiar the thing is that if you go to your canteen and say that yeah today i haven't bought the money tomorrow i will pay back you the money so till the time you pay back the money to the canteen person you will be a creditor to him so a benefit is being received by you so that person is considered as a creditor then the next term is the purchases purchases refers to those goods or services uh, let's consider goods itself which are bought for resale purposes the thing is that sometimes the uh, goods can be purchased on cash basis that's called cash purchase whereas sometimes the purchases can be made on the credit basis at that time the purchases are called as credit purchase so if you buy goods from someone to resale it to other person it is known as the purchases purchases again are of two kinds that is cash purchase and the credit purchase cash purchase means if the goods are bought on the by giving cash 
and credit purchase means if you have bought the goods on credit basis then it is credit purchase so this is about purchases then moving on to the next next is the, the sales what sales is after purchase definitely comes the sales which means that if the goods which are being purchased or goods which you have manufactured have to be sold so this is what sales is amount sales refers to the amount of goods sold that's what sale is about again sale is of two types the first is the cash sales and the second is the credit sales if the goods are means sold on cash basis they are called cash sales if the goods are sold on credit basis then they are called credit sales now coming to the characteristics of a balance sheet what are the main characteristics of a balance sheet as defined before itself we do know that it shows the financial position of a company then it is a financial statement it shows how much of the assets and liabilities it has so this things you already know but still looking into the features first we can say that balance sheet is a statement a statement in the sense that it shows the assets and liabilities then the thing is that it is prepared on a specific date it is not that every day you prepare a balance sheet but it at the end of an accounting year or at the end of some uh, or at the end of an year might be in december on a particular date only this balance sheet will be prepared then the knowledge of the financial position once the balance sheet is prepared we can know whether the company is running in profit or whether they are incurring losses so we'll understand what the financial position of a company is then we'll have a definite knowledge about the nature of assets and liabilities what kind of assets and liabilities are there in the company we can understand then the main feature of balance sheet is that assets and liabilities tally each other always when we are preparing a balance sheet the assets and liabilities should be equal now coming to preparation of a balance sheet how we can prepare a balance sheet now just let's take a glance to the preparation of balance sheet when we are preparing a balance sheet always we have to represent it in a tabular form when we are representing it in a tabular form on the top of that we have to give a heading the balance sheet as on the balance sheet of the company's day then as on the date of the uh, preparation have to be mentioned then the thing is that you have to make the table and on your right hand side you will have the assets and on your left hand side you will have the liabilities so this is how you will generally prepare a balance sheet now coming to the items to be shown on the liability side of the balance sheet what are the items that you have to represent on the liability side that is your left hand side of the balance sheet first is the long term liabilities long term liabilities are the liabilities which are repayable after a long period of time which means that more than one year if the liability is of a period of more than one year then it comes under the uh, long term liability for example capital then long term loans will come under the long term liabilities then fixed liabilities you might be familiar with the term fixed fixed in the sense that it will get dissolved only when you are closing the business so this are also a kind of long term liability but this long term liability will be payable only on the termination of the business only at the shutdown of business you this payment of liability will be undertaken that's what fixed liability is about then current liability is about the short term liability which means that you we will be repaying that liable amount within a short span of time might be within one year then the next we have to showcase on the liability side is the net profit 
since capital is represented on the liability side net profit is also represented on the liability side of the balance sheet net profit means the profit you earn though it is a asset to us it is represented on the liability side since the capital is also represented on the liability side then the last thing we have to mention on the liability side is the drawings drawings means the withdrawals if if there is an investment and if you are withdrawing say if there is an investment of the capital of 10000 rupees but in the between you are withdrawing making a withdrawing of 5000 rupees that is also represented on the liability side so this is what or these are the things which you have to represent on the liability side of the balance sheet now coming to the things that you have to represent on the asset side first is the fixed assets fixed asset you know the long term assets or the thing is like which cannot be converted into cash in a short period of time that are known as the fixed assets this fixed assets are again classified into two that are tangible fixed asset and intangible fixed uh, fixed asset tangible fixed asset we can say that which can be seen and touched for example the land building plant and machinery all these are the fixed assets then intangible fixed assets are goodwill patents trademarks which cannot be seen and touched so this is what you represent on the asset side then you have current assets current assets means the short term assets or uh, the thing is that which can be easily converted into cash within a period of one year not more than one year within a span of one year those are known as the current assets so assets are generally the, the those things which can be converted into cash easily when you resale it you can get the cash easily the case of current assets the thing is that it is of short span of time but in the case of fixed assets it's in the in the long span of time or only at the time of uh, shutdown of the business then what we represent on the asset side is cash in hand and cash at bag whatever cash you have in hand and also whatever is deposited in the bank then bills you have to receive then some debtors the debtors who are supposed to repay back you then closing stock the stock which is there in the warehouse then prepaid expenses prepaid expenses are expenses paid in advance for the service to be received in future the thing is that the advance payment you receive before providing the goods and services you might sometimes receive the advance payment that's what prepaid expenses is then acquired income acquired income income which has been earned but not yet been received the thing is that sometimes there might be a transaction which has already been taken transaction in the terms of goods and services sometimes goods might be sold and all but still you have to receive the money and all that kind of income are known as the acquired income then the thing you have to show on the asset side is the investment investment represent the funds invested in the government security share of the company and also how much investment is made by people in the share of the company in the terms of equity share preference share of bonds so that's what investment is about so how much of the investment have been made that also you have to showcase on the asset side of the balance sheet so these are the items hope you understood so thank you